Hey, what's up guys? It's Brandy and this video is going to be very similar to the Dear Eugenia Cooney video I did. I will put a link up to it here if you didn't check that one out. This video is kind of like, I guess, a response to that video because there were so many people that commented on it or messaged me about it or had something to say in regards to either her, her situation that she's dealing with. I also talked about eating disorders and body dysmorphia and all of that stuff. So I wanted kind of to break down those topics a little bit more because some people were kind of confusing what each of those things meant and how they kind of overlapped. So first I was going to talk on her, Eugenia Cooney herself. So as I said in the last video, I don't personally consume her content. I don't know like a great deal about her because all I know about her is other people's point of views of her. So I don't want to pass judgment. I don't want to address her because it's not my right to do so, nor do I know her personally. So it's not, you know, my place to do that. So the whole issue of weird things she's been doing on Twitch, weird things she's been doing on YouTube too. Like I saw recently, I guess she did like a bathing suit haul, which everyone's doing now because it's like summertime. But she got a lot of backlash for it and things like that. So people are like coming down hard on her recently. And to address that particular thing, let me phrase it this way. If you don't have like an eating disorder or body dysmorphia or, you know, anything in those or mental, you know, issues, it's hard to grasp the concept of people going through these issues you see someone who's really skinny or really fat and you just assume, oh, they're not doing this or they're doing this with their bodies. And you can't always do that with people. With her, yes, she's very, very skinny. So clearly something is wrong. There is an issue there. But at this point, you know, shaming her for her body or shaming her for weird things she does, like, I don't understand it, but it's not my place to comment on it in a sense where I'm ridiculing her for something or saying, oh, she's unhealthy. She needs to, you know, go to a doctor or this or that. Like, it's to a point where she's been in the limelight, you know, for years now. She's aware of whatever issues she's dealing with and whether she's working on them behind closed doors or she is addressing them in her own way. That's on her account. That's not on anybody to tell her what to do or not to do. And I can't attest for her being really weird right now in some of the content she's uploading. I don't know if that has to do with her eating disorder specifically. I don't know how that has to do with mental issues that she's dealing with. I don't know if that has to do with her of trying to appeal to a particular audience that might... It's, it's weird to say this, but people are like having these weird fetishes with her being as skinny as she is from what I've been reading. So is she, you know, accompanying those people? I have no idea. But what goes on in her life goes on in her life. And as long as she is happy and healthy in her own right, that's that's on her. Like, I'm not going to ridicule her for living her life, you know, as long as she... And healthy comes in all shapes and sizes. I mean, clearly she's very skinny. But if she is physically healthy by her doctor's regards right now and she's working towards whatever is healthier... Good on her. Let her do it. Aside from her, a lot of people had comments regarding body dysmorphia specifically. Eating disorders, I feel like, are pretty self-explanatory. You know, there's anorexia, bulimia, and variations of each in terms of losing weight. And then there's obviously eating disorders on the other end of the spectrum, but we weren't really addressing that. But in terms of body dysmorphia, at least... I I'm not going to give you the textbook definition because you, you guys can look that up. But the way I see it in the way I experience it in my life is your body, the way that you see yourself physically can like change in the blank of an eye. You clearly don't view yourself the way everybody else does, which is a given for most people, but this is to like an extreme extent. And the way I experience it is even though I'm not physically altering my appearance 
like, not, like, makeup and all that extra stuff, but just my normal, my body shape, my size, my figure. From day to day, I feel drastically different about myself. There are some days that I feel like I look good. I think I look skinny. I feel like my clothes fit good. I'm, I'm great. And then the next day, or even sometimes the same day, but later in that day, I feel really fat. I feel gross. I feel ugly. I get into my head thinking like, oh, maybe I should skip dinner tonight, blah, blah, blah. Like, it's, body dysmorphia is a mix of both physically feeling like there's something wrong with you and then mentally battling yourself every day because of that physical thing. So it's like both. And that's at least how I've come to see it. And I, you know, deal with it myself, which is the only reason I'm talking on it. And a lot of people were like, oh, well, eating disorders and body dysmorphia are, are like, they're not hand in hand. And no, they're not necessarily hand in hand. But a lot of time, if you deal with one, you probably deal with the other. Or one of them leads to the other one. I know I've had body dysmorphia for quite some time, which led me to not eat, which led me to skip meals, which led me to avoid certain things like purposefully so it went hand in hand for me does somebody like Eugenia Cooney have body dysmorphia I don't know because I don't really know her opinions on her own body she tell like in the videos I have seen of her she says that she feels healthy you know she is doing well for her and healthy again is in terms of appearance okay mentally I don't, I don't know where she stands, but she seems content with where she is, at least when she speaks. So the body dysmorphia is hard to pick up on because it's not like there is a physical thing that people can always see to determine if someone is, you know, dealing with it or not, which is a hard concept to grasp sometimes. But all of those things are not interchangeable because I know a lot of people were using different words but meaning different things. They're all different issues or problems that people deal with and in terms of people still attacking Eugenia, it, it doesn't help anything, you know. Even if she needs help in one way or another, yelling at her or attacking her doesn't push her or persuade her to make a change, she's going to have to do that for herself, just like anybody else that deals with these problems. You have to make the change for yourself and you have to want to make that change. Nobody else can persuade you to do it. And that goes for any sort of mental issues. Was debating, talking on, you know, things with anxiety and depression and things like that, because it all kind of goes hand in hand. But anybody that has an issue, you have to want to help yourself. It, it sucks, but that's the unfortunate truth. If you don't want to help yourself, nobody else's words are going to matter. So to wrap up a long rant of a video, I, I don't know if I'll make another follow-up to this. If you guys would like me to, I can. But I was genuinely surprised by the amount of feedback I got on the first video and the amount of people that also dealt with similar issues and were not only relating to her in one way or another, but were confused as to why people were going after her or addressing her and this and the other thing. So I just wanted to kind of touch on this again because I feel like I didn't flush the whole conversation out. So I guess that's it for now, but I would like to know your thoughts and you know concerns in relation to either Eugenia Cooney, if you do consume her content, or just you know, eating disorders, body dysmorphia, for all that stuff in general. If you're somebody that deals with that, like, how do you combat it on the daily? What is something that you use or tell yourself to kind of work through those if you want to share? If not, totally understandable. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Maybe you learned a thing or two about something. And that's all I've got for you guys this time. Until the next video, peace out and fair winds, my dudes. Bye, guys.